Well, the Supreme Court said today it is not its job to order power plants to cut emissions. Chief Washington correspondent Jim Engel has the reasoning behind the ruling. In a unanimous decision, the Supreme Court today said federal judges shouldn't force power plants to reduce emissions, that Congress granted that power to the Environmental Protection Agency. At the center of the court's decision was a simple idea. It is better to have real experts in the EPA making a centralized decision as to what our environmental policy should be, rather than have individual federal judges who may lack the EPA's expertise making those decisions. The alternative was that we would have uh, uh, dozens, potentially, of federal judges all over the country issuing uh, conflicting and different decisions on this particular issue. Eight states and several activist groups targeted four private companies and the Tennessee Valley Authority, which they argued were the nation's five largest emitters of carbon dioxide. They wanted judges to cap those emissions, then reduce them by a specified percentage each year for at least a decade. The court firmly rejected that, with Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg writing, quote, the expert agency is surely better equipped to do the job than federal judges who lack the scientific, economic, and technological resources an agency can utilize in coping with issues of this order. This prevents uh, some federal judge, some single federal judge somewhere in the country coming up with his or her, her own ideas of what proper uh, environmental standards are there. The Supreme Court did expand the emissions EPA should regulate in a five to four ruling back in 2007, but that decision also made clear that the EPA, not judges, was the ruling authority in such matters. The primary mover in any environmental regulation at the federal level is gonna come from the um, policy experts within the EPA. Analysts of all strive say that's better than judges with little expertise and varying views, but it's not entirely comforting to conservatives who fear the worst from the Obama EPA. I think they're going to issue decisions putting out standards that will make it very tough for companies to meet and in fact will cause uh, even further problems to the economy. By pushing up energy prices, but once the EPA has acted, those decisions can be challenged in court and surely will be by one side or the other. Shannon? No doubt about that. Jim Engel, thank you very much. Well, the justice